Hey there everyone, this is Seb and welcome to a new Let's Play and guess what? I've got a new CDI! I don't know why I'm so happy because CDI kind of sucks but you guys seem to like it so you know. Uh, we're gonna play some uh, CDI games uh, once again and yeah that date is all wrong but let's not look at that let's just start a game. <laughs> because that date depresses me because that probably means this CDI will die out soon as well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna play this game, a French game, and you've probably already seen the title. It is made by Infogrames, which we will see in just a bit. Infogrames is kind of an interesting company when it comes to CDI. They were one of the bigger third-party developers for the system, and they actually mo uh, owned most of CDI um, ever since 1996, I think. At which point, uh, Philips pretty much sold most of the rights to the to the system. Om op platform. ontdekking te gaan in het Keter universum, dient u op een van de opties te klikken. To discover the universe of Keter, choose one of these options. And uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. This game is actually bilingual, and this is one of the first games that I know of that did that. Uh, there were probably games before it, and I'm pretty, uh, I, I'm sure there are games before that did it in text. But this game has speech and it uses Dutch and English and I believe in the US version, uh, French version and UK version the second language is actually French instead of Dutch. But uh, yeah that's pretty interesting. In 1993 not that many games had speech let alone um, being multi-languages so that's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, what we're looking at here is a cutscene at of which I have no clue what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> the guy is like absorbing energy. I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be the, the trend with this entire game. Which is Kefir or Cater if you wanna go with the Dutch dub. But uh, yeah this game makes no sense whatsoever. The story is very vague and I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure they had some spiritual meaning with the whole thing, but uh, it's a bit lost on me, I'm afraid. <laughs> I do like spirituality, but uh, this game is trying a bit too hard to sound spiritual and fails to make any point whatsoever, I think. <laughs> And that's our uh, mothership, I guess. Emergency, emergency. Broadcast of non-deciphered message. Vital functions activated. Well, if it's non-deciphered, you don't really have to broadcast this because it will be nonsense, right? And this is the introduction to our hero, who is uh, being activated from cryosleep, I guess. Melkor. And uh, yeah, remember that rank, Knight? It's gonna be funny later on. <laughs> and uh, he doesn't even have a flawless victory. This hero fails, well, at least 2% of the time. Let's uh, let's make this mission a success, though. On the other hand, he did have 111 missions. That's kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, since this game does not use a digital video cartridge, we are left with these uh, still slides, which looks kind of crappy but oh well broadcast of non deciphered message automatic orbit around kefa activated and that green planet is kefir although now it's being purple <laughs> i don't know why but oh well uh yeah high levels of radioactivity doesn't sound too healthy to live on there Yeah, this is just some basic information which has no real relevance, I don't think. Teleport to Dome of Visions. Emperor of Light will speak. Mission orders. And here is our master who has his face plastered all over the place. Visual representation of your celestial father, Enoi, he who reigns over all galaxies. Long ago in the Orion Nebula, I prepared you for this mission. You must save the planet Kether from the forces of evil. 
Cork is holding a prisoner on the planet. She is Eta Kareen, Princess of Wisdom. We wish her to be saved. My light shines upon you, Melkor. And that was a big lie. She is not on the surface, actually. Ionic teleport to combat stations activated. Sidriel vision activated. Helmet activated. Take off. You are switching to active status. Alright, we've teleported to our ship. Uh, I love how everything in this game has a name, like that helmet is actually called the Helmet of Visions in the uh, manual. <laughs> everything has a off something or other in this game. <laughs> Alright, so this is our main hub screen where you can choose the temple. Temple of Second one, Temple of third one, and so on. Temple of Hod. Temple of there are five temples. Temple of we will go through each one in order. Uh, you don't have to go th through them in order, although you do have to do the fifth one last. Basically how this works is you get a number at each uh, at the end of each temple and the fifth one has you enter a password of four numbers. So yeah, let's do the first one, the Temple of Hochmet first. And we get our little interface here in just a minute. Yeah, there we go. On the right all those colored blocks is your life indicator and on the left is the number of lives you have left, those little uh, blue uh, whitish orbs. Are and this is the first part of each temple you go to, the flying stage. Um, since Melkor is of course a warrior of light and all that is good, he is a pacifist and he cannot shoot these asteroids. And this is the asteroid field and I guess it is Kepper on the left. Although these stages um, apparently take place in different time and space. So it could be a totally different area and time and I don't know it, it don't make sense of this game because it'll it'll cost you some brain cells. <laughs> the green orbs refill life so they are very important. This stage is pretty easy but later on man they do get really tough and unpredictable. Here the camera is kind of static as well which makes it easy to um, predict where the asteroids uh, are going. Wow, I actually avoided that. <laughs> ah, and I got hit so I didn't get credit for the uh, green orb. Cheap game, very cheap. But yeah, these are uh, kind of basic flying stages. They are decently fun. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind is that the um, up and down axis of the ship are inverted. Like most uh, flying simulator game thingies. But yeah, you need to get used to it. The controls are kind of sensitive. Emperor of Light will speak. There is no chance, no random luck. You forge your destiny with each of your actions. Never admit defeat. You are what you do. Look at the star which can save you. And that was Enoi. Giving us some... Well, nonsense babblings. Being the omnipotent god he is. <laughs> yeah, some words of encouragement, I guess. I uh, I want that. Yeah, and now the camera sways up and down, which makes it uh, more unpredictable where the uh, asteroids actually will be when you, they uh, line up with your ship to smash you to pieces. Still not that bad. Later levels will be much, much harder and more unpredictable and ridiculous. But yeah, uh, the one tip Enoid does give that kind of helps is uh, look at the star that can save you. In this case it was the light blue star on his forehead. It's always on his forehead. And he talks uh, and gives that hint every uh, halfway point of the flying stages. And that went uh, pretty badly. Um, when you happen to die at the second part of the flying stage or at the next part after the flying stage which is the puzzle segment of the uh, of the temple if you happen to die in those spots you get sent to the um, black hole of oblivion 
remember everything has to be off something or other in this game. <laughs> and uh, over there you will have uh, a bunch of stars colored. And if you go to the star that he pointed out, you will continue at the second part of the flying uh, portion of the stage. So it's very uh, important to remember that. It can save you some time. And all the other color stars will randomly teleport you to another temple. And I, by the way, I like these. Uh, I love these uh, little approach segments, sequences. They uh, they are very campy, of course, but man, I I just dig them. <laughs> and now we uh, get to the second portion of the game, the puzzle segment. Every temple has a different puzzle to uh, before you can enter it. And being a CDI title, we can actually ask for help. Questioning central computer. Translation ongoing. Analysis of sublight waves indicates vanished civilizations. Rays of the Sun of Wisdom have been extinguished for 6,000 years. To go there where the sun no longer shines, turn each square and remember its position. Display the Hockmat blazons in pairs. <laughs> Okay, so basically what you want to do is play a game of memory and uh, we're going to go where the sun no longer shines. <laughs> I don't know what they were referring to, but usually when someone uses that, um, it is referring to a place that I definitely do not want to go to, but oh well. Um, I guess we have no other choice, otherwise this would be a very short LP. <laughs> But man, that, that is some weird uh, thing to say. <laughs> and it's probably the most uh, funny one of the uh, of the temple introductions. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going where the sun no longer shines. Awesome. Which uh, I think it has to do with the actual temple and what kind of place this is supposed to be. But yeah, it's never really explained. Um, yeah, I've seen... Uh, okay, so we've had them all, and I clearly missed a few. Let's see, what was this? That was the... That thingy, which I... Uh, this was this one? Yeah, there we go. Uh, not doing too bad. I'm not the best player at memory, in which you can probably already tell, but... Uh, yeah, that went quickly enough. There is a time limit for this, and if you um, fail to do it, then you get sent to the... Uh, Black hole of oblivion, <laughs> and you lose a life, which uh, sucks. But uh, we managed to make it. And when you send into the labyrinth, the first room, which you always start at, is the um, central room. And let's head in there and put it on the map. And yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna split the video here because the intro took quite long, and uh, this maze part will probably take a while as well, especially with my uh, <laughs> sense of direction. So join me next time, guys, when we uh, take on this first labyrinth. So see you then. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>